Hello people didn't know how's us in today, I just wanted to talk about to everybody. As everybody probably knows who watched the channel for a long time, people who know me. Uh, I'm dyslexic. Um, I have a problem reading, I have a problem writing, I have a problem in basically everything. Everything about learning. Um, I find it hard to learn, I find it hard to learn things, I find it hard to speak it oftentimes. I find it, uh, well, I do have something wrong with this part of my throat, so there's something stuck in yeah, so that's why it's hard for me to speak sometimes. As I said, listen, I don't really like talking about it, but I suppose I'm not going to hide to people that I'm dyslexic. And, like, when people don't understand when they say you're no good or you're just dumb. And I'm really just saying this to anybody who has dyslexia. Don't get yourself down. Like, there's so many people who said that to me and... God knows how many times I took it very serious. But they don't have the knowledge. People with dyslexia, they see with me, many people know, many people say to me that I have a lot of knowledge and I have another old skill which is very good. Uh, let's just put it that way. And what I mean by old skill is I'm very, very understanding and very, very open. I'm not going to deny anything. If somebody comes to me and says, you done this and you said this, I'm going to say it. Well, yeah, I did say it. If I didn't say it, I say it. No, I didn't say it. You must be thinking of somebody else. But if I said something, I'm going to say it. But dyslexia on a very daily basis. I'm going to try and explain this to you. Oh, so I go to college. I do go to courses in college. I do bits of Irish. I'm not, as I said in one video, I love to learn, but it's, it's really pointless and it's driving me to Monaghan. I can really not learn it, and that's really simple truth. I can't, I really, t I returned to the Department of Education, but they won't listen. That's the truth, because they fed up listening to me already. Um, and that's why I have the opinion that you, people with autism and dyslexia don't have to do Irish, because it's just, you can't learn English. It took me so long, and I'm an Irish person, it took me so long to even learn English. Because I, I really blame it too from when I was in national school and all that, like, I wasn't just taught anything, that's where I was taught as dumb, and that's definitely just dumb and stupid and not worth the time. That's purely simple, not worth the time. And now I'm in college, um, it's stupid and it's difficult. I find it difficult on the daily basis. Everybody knows I struggle with mental health issues too. Uh, I struggle very, very often with depression, absolutely just worries. Like, I just, anything would just worry me and uh, it would annoy me and it would ruin my day. That's basically what I'm trying to say. If one bad thing happens, it ruins my whole day, which is really upsetting and really hard when you're a politician too. And you try and do your best, and but what's your best when people rely on you, people depend on you to do things? And you just say to them, I can't do as much more than you think you can. That's sure it's sad to say that but it's really difficult and I'm not going to lie to people people who have the stats in autism I take my hat off to you I literally would take my hat off to you right now because use the we are MVPs of society use the people who go out who try their best who achieve greatness and glory but it's the state, and it's this stupid, stupid country that won't get its brain tested. I mean the Department of Education, that's what I mean, because they don't understand dyslexia and autism. I understand it. I understand. I'm living through it every day of my miserable life. I understand it. What I mean by miserable, because I'm just a misery in school, because, like, you see other people, like, say, maths, I'm fucking terrible at maths, let's just put it that way. Like, I might do a question one of these days and I might just fuck it out the window. <laughs> no, but what I mean by it, when you're dyslexic, you see other people around you. You're like, why can they go faster than me? I wish I was like that. You know, it's just something like that. People with dyslexia think that they're just stupid and they see other people doing it. And they're just like, why can I not do it? Like, in national school, I couldn't get my head around when they don't Irish for a while. They, I couldn't get my head around how people, other people are. That's what made me feel upset and annoyed with myself and that's really one of the reasons why I didn't do Irish for a long time and 
just it's hard I'm not gonna deny it, it's really hard and it's really it's really hard in the job I do too, like it's ridiculously bad because I have to write the titles, I have to do descriptions and I have to basically do anything and everybody who anybody who applies to be the comics like I usually go over the comments what I would go to post the post they will I would go to apply to. Like I usually look over five or six times before I post it like I don't know what the grammar would be white heavy but like it's just it's just upsetting. Like it's really upset. I'm not gonna deny that I'm my own individual post that everybody has their own individual characters and personality. Which would be very boring world world wherever fuck it if I would just say it'd be very for forward society. If people had the same take well with each other, like this actually everybody had this actually autism would be a very different world. Very boring, sad world. Um But as I said so many times, people with dyslexia also have knowledge and I have knowledge and I have great great respect for my fellow people, my fellow islanders. That's without my even for anybody I have respect for them, as long as they do not not me them. I'm gonna have great respect to them, I'm gonna treat them very respectfully too, like Because when you get to my age, you just like to yourself like what's the point in fighting? Like you know in political debates you can't fight him. But what's the point in fighting? What does that give you? With people with the sex now like I have nothing to gain. That's purely simple. People with mental health issues and dyslexia and autism, they have nothing to gain. They never think about anything to gain. And they think about everything they're losing. They never think about, if I get this, it's a great success. They never think about it. They never think about it. You know, people who don't have them, I always think about it. They always want to achieve. People with dyslexia and autism just want to get by. That's the simplest thing. Like, that's what I want to do. But as I said, it's a daily, daily struggle for me in college. And it's just terrible. That's putting it simple like that. That's because there's a few st stupid things to happen at school, which is bang right out of order. And God knows how long I tried to fucking mend them, but what can you do? That's really simple too, because people, what I'm trying to say is, poly this is not a country really for the sex of water, some people. I don't like being. Knocking down anybody with the sex order, but I would recommend just go to if his parent parents say it's because this country has no resources to deal with people who have special needs. Because this country is just a sham, to be honest. Like I, I would probably be a lot better if I went to some other country, but I refuse. And that's as simple as that. I refuse. I refuse to leave my home country. Unless they kick me, dragging and starving, that's the only way they're gonna get me out of Ireland. And that's as simple as that, the boat, unless they kill me, then I get on the boat, then that's the only time we'll probably get on the boat or plane. But that's me rambling on for about five fucking hours, but what can you do, I suppose, it's always good to talk, that's one thing we have to get in mind, it's always good to talk. But the, the sex on a daily basis is a daily, daily struggle. And people with the sex and autism, I'm just going to say to you, never give up. Never, never give up. I, I, I have given up. That's basically what I try to say. I've given up on myself. Because you struggled for so many years. I struggled for so many years. I build up all my muscles to try and do my best. I build up everything to try and do my best for my country and achieve something. Just achieve one thing and be delighted. I never achieved nearly any great at all in my life. But. At the end of the day, to achieve is the fear of pain. Because someday somebody will be like, I want to change what I've ever done. That achieved this. And, you know, like, I know that's taken outside the box. But yeah, I just want to say, take you for watching this video. I just wanted to get that out of my system. Because, it's, as I said, it's always good to talk and it's always good to explain things and talk about things and hopefully inspire people and my advice to anybody like I have completely given up for myself that's that's purely simple but I'm saying to people never 
ever, ever give up. No matter how hard life seems to come at you, remember two things. One, your own individual self. You have your own personalities, your own skills. Don't mind what other people have. You are your own individual person. Two, just never, ever, ever give up. I know that's one thing I'm failing at now, and I really am just fucked up giving up about it. I'm just <laughs> fucked up. Uh, but just never, ever, ever, ever give up on your dreams or your goals. Because your friends and your family are there for you. And they will guide you through it into the bitter land. 